All right, Infinity Files on this Friday morning. Let's face it, this is starting to get really scary, and it's costing people their lives. Military planes seemingly falling out of the sky. This was the latest accident, a C-130 Hercules plane crashing less than two miles from the Savannah Airport moments after takeoff. But let me show you why this matters. First of all, these planes, they fly in and out of McDill Air Force Base every single week. I spoke with my contact on base yesterday. He said the age of their fleet is a concern. Now, most reports say the plane was over 60 years old, which is possible because the C-130s went into production back in 1954. The planes are workhorses, which is why they're still being used. But since 2011, after the Budget Control Act was passed, which cut defense spending, deadly accidents on military planes are up, get this, 40%. And every year the planes get older, meaning they're more difficult to maintain, they need more man hours, and parts are harder to find. So I wanted to show you the C-130. This is what we're talking about right here. There are over 20 variations of this plane used in over 36 different countries around the world. This is the number of deaths that have happened on these planes just by U.S. military planes since 1997, almost every single year. And then look at this, 2015, 2017, and then earlier this week, nine people died. Now, the plane was used during Hurricane Maria and Hurricane Irma to rescue people. It was headed to a place they call the Boneyard in Arizona, where they scrap these planes for parts. But my question this morning, is there a correlation between the age of this fleet and all of the accidents? It's really hard to say. But my question, would you fly on a 60-year-old plane? Would you drive in a 60-year-old car? You can let me know this morning on my Facebook page, Rob Finnerty. Use the hashtag Finnerty Files.